Hello everybody, welcome back to another toy review. I am George, the 80's Transformer fan, and I'm still doing Powers of the Prime. Today is Dinobot Slug, which should be Slag, because um, the name Slag is offensive in some parts of the world, but not in this one, so it is Slag. This is the back of his packaging, it has the product shot of him in both robot mode and dinosaur mode, shows you that he can put the Prime Master on his chest, and it looks like he comes with a hand just like Swoop. Um, here's the front of his packaging again has Hasbro on there parts of the prime transformer generations and I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing open if you saw my swoop review you know I only found this guy in swooping stores I have not found sludge and snarl as of yet Still hunting for those guys. I've seen um, a couple guys from their wave, but not those guys. And then I regretted not getting, what is it, Dark Dark Wind? The other um, jet, the gray jet that's out now. Saw them a couple times and I thought, well, the way here, they're finally making it to stores near me and, and they'll be out soon. They'll probably be everywhere, but I missed my guess because I haven't seen them since and. I'm not seeing the other ones around me. Oh, and this guy actually, uh, I've been asking for a gun. He has a gun. I bought this toy back in um, late December, early January. I just got around to reviewing it because I was waiting for the other guys actually to come out so I can get them all together and um, actually merge the Dinobots into their combiner form, but I haven't found the other guy. So before this stuff gets too old, I figured I'd get out here and review, review them. And again, he comes with a hand just like Swoop. I'm assuming the other two guys will come with the leg. And here is Slug. Yeah, I said it. It's, here's Slug slash Slag. It's robot mode. I know a lot of people are talking about how they don't like this. They don't like the mane and the look of it. They don't like the fact that these little parts don't open up and make wings. But bring him close to the camera. Get a look at his face. It looks like slag in the face. The one I'm used to seeing, the G1. And the cartoon. Doesn't have the paint apps from the cartoon or the, the colored in face, I should say. The cartoon don't have paint apps. Um, very simple figure. He's a deluxe class figure. They really didn't go wild with the paint. Even though his legs are a metallic black and his hands are a flat black. You can see that. But there's not a lot going on with this guy. And I believe that's uh, because the combiner mode is supposed to be the payoff. Spin him around. It's pretty solid from the back. I know this shell is pretty solid. I wonder what's going on with that in combiner mode. Where they didn't have it like flare open and closed or whatever. I guess they didn't need it the way it was designed. Trying to see if his little horns have, yeah, they have articulation even though I haven't got to that. Well, this one's not moving at all. Okay, but he comes with a, a gun. This sort of kind of looks like his G1 gun. We'll put that to the test and get this in his hand. And yeah, not, not a lot going on with this guy paint-wise. I think, um, I thought he would be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit better than Swoop. Okay, let's take a look at his fist slash Prime Master holder. It comes with like a cover. The cover when, I guess, when you don't have a Prime Master in there, so it doesn't just have a giant gaping hole. And this can be turned into the left or right hand. And I'm assuming that's because they did it sort of Scramble City style. Like if you only found this guy in Grimlock, you can buy four slags in Grimlock and basically make the combiner. Well, I guess it's not four. Two two of these guys, you can have two slugs as the left and right arm if you wanted to. It can be left or right, which um that's kind of clever, but you know, I prefer it either way. I prefer you have to uh, hunt down and get the guys like I'm trying to do and make it what you wanted to. And you can also, oh, it's already folded down. Fold this thing down, put in his hand, and make it some type of very, very odd weapon. 
New claw shield fire. Anyway, I try to run down his articulation. I believe his head actually moves. If you can get your little hand finger in there, I can move it just a little bit. But I do believe it's it's on like a, a swivel, not necessarily a ball joint, but I think it swivels in there. His arms are on ball joints. You can see those big ball joints in there. Totally 360. You can get it up to the side like that. He has a bicep swivel, which I missed on Swoop, actually. Swoop has the same bicep swivel up there. This guy bends at the elbow. and Not a lot at the elbow, just like Swoop. Coming down to his hand, there's nothing, but I see the giant hole here. So I know it folds up in his transformation mode. It's very, very stiff. I feel like the arm is going to pop off the joint. Trying to put it in there. Come down to his waist, and he has a waist swivel. It will completely 360. Uh, you can see the giant ball joints, his upper thigh, his legs come out that far. You'd think it, they would come out a little bit more, but they didn't put a lot of clearance in there. Go front and back very, very far. Get his knee up. Not that far getting his knee up either. Guess he has a little bit of uh, plastic blocking him, but I think it would come a little bit better. He has like nothing at the foot. It's just a solid, solid piece. A lot like the G1. And you can also, I see right now, you can plug this thing in on his back. And he has his own back scratcher, back scratcher, back scratcher, back scratcher. But you can plug it. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. You can plug it in on his back and it can do whatever it does. I think it plugs into his chest too. Check the box, check the box. The package, yeah, plugs into his chest somewhere. Yep. Right in the mouth of the, the dinosaur. Bam. And if I wasn't so lazy, I'd get one of the Prime Masters and pop it in here, but I am not. At least not right now. At least not right now. Uh, get that out of here. There is Slug. Slash Slag. And I'm going to slide in the G1 for a little bit of comparison. This is my G1. And it's cool because like he is so, so plain. And my G1 has absolutely no stickers ever applied to it. And... Uh, bring these guys closer and you can see the face this guy has two separate eyes and he's wearing the, the visor that was seen in the cartoon even though it was blue and you can see the similarities in the face as well as the differences very very much G1 homage the decoration in the chest here the molded plastic is very similar to the die cast over here that they uh, actually tried to recreate to capture an old guy like me to buy these toys maybe for me and my son and they could sell two or more Autobot logo in there should have been outlined in white would have made it look a lot better and of course this is the bottom of the jaw in dinosaur mode and underneath there you can see the combiner piece coming down to his legs take a look at those very very similar you can see that like I say again this is a total throwback total throwback except for the wings don't open up here the horns on the back of the head everything harkens back to the G1 toy on the toy in this particular toy line you can weaponize them in different modes but yeah he can have the shield and the gun on his arm at the same time so there's that which is much but um, get him transformed. Know his arms fold up. No, this is the butt of the animal. Come around here. There's his tail. There's his feet. Okay, the, the tail swivels out. Assuming the feet fold up into there. Or look like they tab together. And he has like some secondary feet or heel spurs. I think heel spurs in there. Fold these up. If I can swing it around. See it tabs in. The tail swivels. It's pretty cool. A little translucent. Look, oh man, look how stumpy that tail is. Goodness, he looked like um one of the rats from uh the Princess Bride, the giant rodents of unusual sizes. Oh man, he uh Yeah, this uh 
I mean, I, I don't like this at all. Look, look, and then the main. A lot of people complain about the main, and you can add me to the list. Like the main should be out. It's just, it should have been able to raise up and pop back down, and it's just pressed down. I mean, look at, look at it. I mean, I, let me see. Maybe uh, okay. I'll try to change the stance or something. But yeah, out of the, I have Grimlock Swoop and now Slug. Just slag. Yeah, he's the weakest of the three that I have so far. Look how stumpy the tail is. And then look at the back with the, with the mane. If the mane popped out uh, more, this would have been better. And uh, I can only get the one horn to move. Not sure it's supposed to. But I got that one. And that doesn't help. And the, the, the horns are kind of down too far more than I'm used to on the Triceratops mode. It has like a panel here. Oh, this lifts up for the combiner mode. I knew there was something there. Man, I was hoping I could do something with this main. Ugh. So, um, anyway, you can, you can plug the gun in there on his back and weaponize this dino mode. You can plug this uh, Prime Master fist slash attachment on there. Wow, um... Very crappy dino mode to me, in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, the mouth opens, of course, not getting much out of there. I don't look like he can really throw a good flame out of there. Man, this thing needed some help, some silver paint. All oh, this gray, like, why is the main not a silver? Why is it the same gray? They did the same thing on Swoop. I'm really, really not feeling this. I mean, he's some type of turtle looking thing tortoise or something he uh very very weak dino mode to me very weak dino mode and i'm gonna get the g1 out here all right slag show slug what a dino mode should look like here is the g1 oh. <laughs> this is the g1 in dino mode and maybe i'm just used to seeing it this way i don't know if <laughs> I'm not feeling that. It's much better like this. It's much better. He looks more savage, more feral, um, more ready to fight. This 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 thing looks so passive. Mama, mama, da da. Yeah. Um. Just look at it, man. It looks like he's just crawling. It can barely crawl. Look like a guy in a costume trying to get down on all four legs. Not really feeling it. Bring them both forward. You can see where they tried to imitate the translucent part here with this, with the gold paint, which um, I'm just not feeling. The little translucent leg parts on the side, at least at the back leg and the tail. Look at this little stump here. Man, I... Yeah, he's losing in dino mode. He, he really, really is. I think I plugged all the stuff on there, and this is... Pretty much all you get in Dino Mode. So if it wasn't for the G1, this would be like a total crap review of a toy. I, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling this thing in Dino Mode. And I, like I said, I hope in my swoop video, I said that I hope that the um, the combined mode is the payoff. Because Grimlock was a, a little bit of a letdown. Swoop was a little bit of a letdown. This one, to me, is a lot of a letdown. It really is. I'm just going to bring out... Here's Grimlock in T-Rex mode. I'll get him in a shot. Zoom it out. And here is Swoop in his Petrodon mode. And um, with no flight stand, we can't even like get him. Uh, I got, and there he is. <laughs> or get him down here sliding on his belly. But here are the, the three that I have so far. And I would get them like halfway combined, but I, I don't want to spoil it for myself or anybody that might be watching. All right, um, final thoughts here. Got him back in robot mode. And um, he, he's all right. I guess deluxe class figures aren't supposed to be that great, but he's just all right. And as a matter of fact, I'm a little disappointed, but the figure's all right. If the other two are like this, like um, with very limited bells and whistles. I'm happy he came with a gun, though. But it, they're very limited with what they come with. I know what my son is getting for his birthday. 
gently used Dinobot combiner from Powers of the Prime. Is what he'll be getting. <laughs> because uh man, this yeah. Um it's it's just alright, to be honest with you. And they they're shelf warmers, and that's probably why they're shelf warmers. Him and Swoop and seeing Grimlock more and more hanging around. But uh here is Slug slash Slag. This has been 80s Transformer fan. Thanks for watching my tour review. See you soon.